Payrolls, manual payroll systems and ghost workers are the reasons for wastage in counties. In a report by the controller of budget, Margaret Nyakango, during the second day of the National Wage Bill Conference, counties have not managed to stay within the legal threshold of 35% of their revenue for expenditure on wages. Sheila Chelangat now reports. The controller of budget, Margaret Nyakango, has singled out the areas where wastage of public funds takes place the most, revealing shocking statistics of how impunity has led to massive wastage and especially at the county level. For instance, that Kericho had 40%, 40.4% of their total budget on allowances. Those are the county assemblies, the ones who oversight the county governments. Unauthorized payments by counties and manipulation of payment data being attributed to the wastage in these devolved units. We've noted that uh, in the 2022-2023 majority of entities audited by our office um, had modified audit opinions. For the county governments it was at exactly 94%. Uh, meaning that um, uh, it's, 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 it's on the higher uh, quartile that we are having persons who are preparing financial statements doing a poor job. Kitui County topped counties with the highest ratio of wages to revenue, where only 25% of its revenue is left for development. Kisi, Garissa, Busia and Nyamira also use more than 70% of their revenue in paying off wages. And I've seen, especially in the manual payrolls, you will find uh, literally tens and tens of casuals in one department. And if I ask them what those casuals are doing on a day-to-day -day basis, what they do for eight hours a day, there is no answer. Hence the call by the controller of budget to have sustainable strategies for accountability as they strive to have wages not exceed 35% of the total revenue. Can we limit new hiring in the medium term? Yes, and especially when we look at the counties, we can see that hiring needs to be stopped for a while as we organize ourselves. This was revealed on the second day of the National Wage Bill Conference that is set to come to a close tomorrow with President William Ruto expected to grace the function. Sheila Chelangat for TV 47.